first behind the lines in three, two, one, go! And on the Red Alliance, we see all three robots starting to drop off the game pieces they started with. And 254 already back for one cube, getting it into place in the upper row and grabbing a second from the field. They make their way onto the charging station. Unfortunately, there's also a blue robot who made it too far across field. That is 7709. They did not quite run into the red charging station, but it was a near miss. It is the Red Alliance who is starting Tally Up with the lead. Blue Alliance working to try and make up some of that deficit. We see both Warrior Borgs and 7667 across the field at their loading zone. Looks like Warrior Borgs trying to come back with the cone, losing their grip a bit, but Alliance Partners Otterbots are coming back with the cube. And as they do, flying past them is the Red Alliance's 254. They're dropping off a cone at a middle row node, and they're already racing back to the loading zone, grabbing another cone, and working on filling out some more of the middle row again. And with a minute and a half left to go, Red Alliance is hanging on to its lead so far. We see, also on red, Iron Claw working on filling out some of the upper row cones, and their Alliance partner's tech support dropping off some cubes in the bottom. And as Red Alliance is working on all three rows of their grid at once, and quickly racking up the score. Back on Blue, meanwhile, we see Formosa Pangolin trying to dart into a little bit of the red community, trying to grab some of those cubes there. It looks like they are able to grab a cube while Alliance Partners Warrior Borgs come back with a cone. However, Blue Alliance will need to step up the rate of scoring if they want to keep up as we approach the end game. And on the Red Alliance, they have three out of four links needed to earn the extra ranking point and still plenty of time to add a fourth. And in fact, it looks like Iron Claw does just that with a cone placed in the middle row. And both their Alliance Partners still running back and forth, all three of them working on scoring, although tech support getting in a bit of a pushing match with the Autobots on their way. And as we now move into the final 30 seconds, teams might start to set their sights on the charging station. Not just yet, however, for some of our Blue Alliance robots. Seems like the first to approach might be 7709 for Mosa Pangolin. 14 seconds left, and it is tech support. First to the charging station for Red, Iron Claw will have to join them while their Alliance partners, 254, still working on filling out the grid. Five seconds left, and Blue gets two robots on the charging station, docked and engaged the both of them. And Red Alliance will finish with two engaged as well. Of 179 to 83, earning an event high score, and all four possible ranking points as well.